Hello bakers and welcome back to day 5 of the 12 Bakes of Christmas. My festive series taking you all the way up to Christmas with a brand new recipe each day. If you missed yesterday's recipe for this alcoholic and non-alcoholic version of the classic hot toddy, then check out the link down below in the description to catch up. But let's see what new recipe we have waiting for you today. We've got a twist on another Christmas classic. This time, the Christmas pudding infused with Guinness to give it a festive kick. If you've ever been to the Guinness storehouse in Dublin, then you might have actually seen they have some Christmas pudding bowls on display in the marketing room, which is where this idea came from. So I took one of my old recipes for Christmas puddings, which we made in the 12 Bakes of Christmas two years ago, improved the flavours, added in some Guinness to bring you this recipe today. To begin, you want to combine your dry ingredients in a bowl. You'll need 300 grams of breadcrumbs, 225 grams of muscovado sugar, 700 grams of dried mixed fruit, 275 grams of suet, and then season it with half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of mixed spice, and the rind of one lemon. Mix through until well combined. In a separate bowl, whisk together your wet ingredients, two eggs, a quarter of a pint of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla, a tablespoon of lemon juice, and 300 milliliters of Guinness. Slowly pour your wet ingredients into your dry and mix through, but be careful not to overbeat it. Next you'll want to grease your pudding bowl very well with butter and then spoon in your pudding mix. Level it out and then it's time to cover it. I'm using two layers of baking paper and a layer of foil, pressing it down nicely to create a seal. You can then use some string to tie it together. Pop your pudding into the fridge to chill overnight or for at least six hours. Now, traditionally, most recipes call for you to steam your puddings on the hob, or some recipes even let you steam it in the oven. But because we're gonna be steaming it for such a long period of time, I actually prefer to do it in a slow cooker. That way you can control the temperature a bit more and it tends to use less energy. Place a ramekin upside down in your slow cooker to prevent the pudding from touching the water. Place your pudding on top Next, fill the dish with water about three quarters of the way up the ramekin. Cover with a lid and then allow your puddings to steam for eight hours. Now it is quite a long process so it's important to plan ahead. If you're doing it on Christmas day, then why not pop it in in the morning and you've got a whole day to work on your main roast and your other 10 puddings. Once your pudding is cooked, remove the foil and the baking paper and then flip it upside down onto a dish. I'm going to serve mine with flaming brandy. To do this, you want to pour your brandy into a metal spoon and warm it slightly to help it light. After about 10 to 15 seconds, put your flame onto the top of the brandy and it should ignite. Carefully pour the flaming brandy over the top of your pudding, turn out the lights, and it's time to impress your guests. Make sure you wait for the flames to die down before you cut into it, pull out your slice, cover with cream, and you're good to go. So there you go, an incredible twist on the classic Christmas pudding. If you like this recipe, then let me know what you thought down in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you for our next recipe tomorrow.